Hello everyone, my name is Desala. I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And put on the notification bell so that you know when I upload a new video. And thank you if you have already subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you're looking to start a business in Nigeria, whatever kind of business it is, whether it's a fashion business, whether it's a, any kind of business really. So there are three things you must know before starting a business in Nigeria. So starting a business in Nigeria, I have a video where I talk about how to start a business in Nigeria and you know, I went a bit into detail of you know things that you need to do and the steps that you need to take to start a business. But on this video, I just talk about three things that you need to know and three things that you need to do before you start a business in Nigeria. Starting a business in Nigeria is not for the faint-hearted, it's not a piece of cake. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of um, guts and it takes a lot of determination to want to start a business in Nigeria. And here is a country where there's so many business owners, there's so many entrepreneurs and you know that's what makes me believe that we have um, a very strong strong spirit in this country. So three things that you must know before you start a business in Nigeria. The first one is registering your business. I was listening to someone some weeks ago and the person was saying yeah, you can just start your business and you can just you know you don't need to register the business you can just start and then you register it later man things have changed register your business if you like start that business and the day you now decide to take your business seriously and register that business you go to CAC your name is not available it's taken by somebody or you now decide to go and register to go and buy a domain online for a website, the name is taken by somebody, or you decide to go and open a social media account for that business, the name is already taken. So when you want to start a business, that's the first thing you should do. That is the first thing you should do. And that was the first thing I did when I started my own business. Now, it's been almost 10 years since I registered um, um, Daisy's Wardrobe. It's been almost 10 years since I bought a domain. There are so many Daisy's out there. There's so many, Daisy's wardrobe, Daisy's underscore wardrobe, Daisy's underscore this, this, Daisy's underscore that, that. So you don't want that happening to you. It didn't happen to me, but I've seen people who start businesses and they decide to register it later down along the line and the names are not available and they already have a customer base. They already have their clientele. Who knows them with this name that they have given their business? But they have to change it or modify it because they didn't do the needful at the beginning of starting the business. So it is very, very important to register your business. Are you enjoying my video? Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and put a notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Thank you. The second thing is knowing or looking for people that are in your industry, people that are in this field or this, um, what do I call it? This, um, this line of business you want to go into. So if it, is it catering? Is it um, hair, hairdressing? Is it styling? Is it, look for people in that industry and see who you can go and speak to, who will help you. You know, the mistake a lot of people make is that when they say go and look for somebody who is in your field or who is in your industry, you go and look for the top of the top, 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 top people that you know that they don't have your time. They don't even have time to give you, give you 10 minutes of their time in the day to talk to you. There's so many people who are doing well, who don't necessarily have one gigantic, you know, name out there, who, who are willing to give you pointers. And sometimes even these big ones, they don't, even, they don't have the time to even break things down to you and whatnot. When I started my own business, I didn't have anybody. I had to figure it out on my own. And it was, it was really hard. I won't lie to you. It was very hard. Things that would have taken me two, three years. Took me five, six years. Because I didn't have anybody to 
show me or put me through. And being an entrepreneur is it's a very lonely journey because even when you find people that will put you through, you find people that will also lie to you. So in as much as when you find people that, will, that, that are going to put you through, you also have to also do your own homework, understand, so that you know what you are going in for, so that you know what you're getting yourself into. You don't want to start this business and then you something happens or something comes up and you don't know how to navigate your way around it. You really, really, really don't want that. So you look for someone, even if the person doesn't look like they are particularly very popular or they don't have 1 million followers on Instagram or 1 million followers on YouTube. As long as you see that there's, there's, there's some kind of progress in that person's uh, um, business and you feel that if you speak to this person and tell them, I want to start my business, how can you assist me? What do you think I should know? Or if you even have questions in your own self that you want to ask this person, these are things that you should do and ask this person to give you pointers. And when this person helps you, I've noticed something I don't know about anywhere else, but I've noticed in Nigeria. People come and meet you when they want something. As soon as you give them that thing, they bounce. In fact, they even delete your number. They, in fact, you don't even exist to them. Then they didn't run into problems. They start looking for you. Keep relationships. Build relationships with people. That is, that is very, very important. Keep relationships and build relationships with people. Don't just chew people and spit them out. No, it doesn't work that way. Because that person that you spat out, the day you are in trouble and you go and call that person, oh, please, what do I do? What do I do? Those are the kind of people that will lie to you. They tell you, eh. if, if the person is not a very nice person, they'll say, eh. so you don't have a day. Okay, go and do this, go and do this, go and do this. Keep relationships. Even if, you know, whatever the case may be, you don't need to be um, necessarily with body, body, bodies, or best friends, or family members, or, you know, calling each other every day, every month. No. Just maintain relationships. When you see the when you see the person, maybe online or your WhatsApp or anything. Hello, happy new year, happy new month, whatever the case may be. Or once in a while, you just remember because oh hello, how are you doing? I just called to say hello. You know, I just remembered you and I just said let me just say hello. Let me tell you something that goes a long way. It goes a long way. It will go a long way with that person. There's nobody that you will do that for and the person will not, will not feel happy. Trust me. There's nobody you will not do that to and will not feel happy. I see a lot of people coming to me speak. Oh, please, come on, And I know, I, as in, I can see through you. You just want to pick my brain and then you bounce. Why do you want to pick my brain? There's nothing wrong in picking my brain. But you can't use me. You can't use me and help me. It's not possible. So maintain relationships. Maintain good relationships with people. Don't just use people. Don't just use people. But always remember that this is a business and you don't know it all. Nobody knows it all. Then the third thing you, you must know about starting a business in Nigeria is hiring. Hiring the right kind of people for your business. The thing is, to be very honest with you, Hiring the right people for your business can make or break your business. That is the honest truth. If you hire the wrong people, if you hire the right people, it's all good. The sky is the limit. If you hire the right people to work for your business and who also see your vision and key into your vision, it's all well and good. That is how it should be. When you hire the wrong people for your business, I don't want to say all about that. Because whatever kind of business you're going to start in Nigeria, you always have to know where you're going to source people from. You always have to know. 
And when you now know where to source people from, you have to know how to go about it in terms of hiring the right kind of person for your business. You may find people who are qualified for to do whatever it is that you want them to do in your business. But you also have to also know that, find out if these people that you are trying to hire for your business, if they are the right fit. If you have a business or you've just started a business and you decide that I'm going to start small, I'm going to start with two people, I'm going to start with three people, or I'm starting with myself and as I go along, I'm going to be increasing it. As you start to increase it, if you already have two people and you decide to employ a third person and this third person is qualified, this third person knows what they're doing, can handle the job, but this person is a difficult person, this person is very combative, very argumentative, very, I don't even know. Because those kind of things, when you're doing your interviews, you will see it. That's where, if you're asking the right questions when you're conducting your interviews, you will see it. You will definitely see it. Someone that will come into your business and the moment they start, or a week down the line, a month down the line, they're already fighting everybody. They already have issues one here and there. Or they don't want to talk to anybody. They have an attitude. They have an air because they know so much. They this, 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 this. You don't really want that. You don't really want that. And I see a lot of it here in Nigeria. When people know that they know how to do what you have employed them to do, if they don't have the right attitude, they start treating you like they're doing you a favor. So the people that you hire for your business, to work for your business, it is very, very, very important. And you yourself, that you are running the business, that you own the business, are starting the business in Nigeria, you need to have some level of knowledge. You need to have some level of knowledge and be willing to build on this knowledge. Because if you don't build on this knowledge, <laughs> you are in for a rude awakening. And when I say rude awakening, I mean rude awakening. You should be able to have a good knowledge of how your business runs, the structure of your business, how, even if you can't do everything, you should have a good knowledge of your business, how it runs, what different things and different parts of your business, what they do. If you've enjoyed watching my video, please give my video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!